What's up? I just got three people asking me what I mean by 5868. Eight. So I'm just going to go over the whole anatomy of a straight razor. All right. This is a straight razor, obviously. Okay. Shouldn't hold it like this in case that falls down, but I'm going to just so you can see the face of it. All right. You got your tail. Tail. Tang. Okay. This is a shoulder right here. Some blades are actually shoulderless. They don't have that little, you know, where it comes down and then, you know, the edge actually starts, you know, in. Guys don't hone into the shoulder unless, you know, like I think I've heard Lynn Abrams say he, he won't do that unless he's asked to specifically. But then there's shoulderless blades. You know, shoulder, you know, they don't have that shoulder. It kind of just chew and then just goes like, it's almost like the, you know, the toe, only there's no shoulder. It's, you know, if that makes any sense. Okay. You got the spine on top, the edge, obviously the putt that you cut with. Again, the toe, the tip, the tip is on this side, scales, um, you got your pivot pin. Uh, let me see. You also got, you know, um, pivot pin tail tang. There's jimps sometimes on raises. There's jimps. They're little, they're just in, indentations, grooves for some guys like they think it grips. I personally, I don't care about jimps. Some raises have jimps on top. Some have it at the bottom. Some have it on bolt. Um, Let's see, obviously a scale. You'll have a scale that's like considered, I guess, a scale inlay. It's just Boker's trademark tree, you know, but then there's customs with inlay in the scale. Uh, am I missing anything? The point, the edge, the spine, the tang, uh, pivot pin, tail, scale. Okay, now, as far as 5 eights. Five eighths is meant like five eighths, six eighths. You hear somebody say five eighths razor or six eighths razor. Five eighths is this way, this way on the razor. This this particular razor is a five eighths. Six eighths of an inch would be a little bigger. Seven eighths would be a little bigger than that. Eight eighths is you know obviously a whole inch. <laughs> and a nine, I have a nine eighths custom. It's bigger than an inch in the widest spot. Um, and then you have the grind. The grind. You look down the barrel of the razor. Okay. This particular razor is a full hollow. Okay. That means, see how it gets thin pretty quick? Like there's a lot of meat up here at the spine and then it gets ground where it gets thin. You have extra hollow where it actually gets thinner quicker. Like, in other words, there's not as much up metal up top. The grind grinds in quicker and gets thin quicker. So you have extra hollow, full hollow. Now, half hollow would have more metal. It wouldn't be ground, ground in as much. Or the grind, the grind. It wouldn't have as much metal taking off. Quarter hollow has even more metal. Um, heart steel, I believe they're quarter hollows. Uh, then you have near wedge and wedge. Wedge is just simply exactly what it says, wedge. So you go from wedge all the way to extra hollow. I hope this helps. You know, I mean, I got hit with one. It was in the uh, Google Plus, and then I just got two other inboxes asking me about straight raises. So again, just a quick little recap. You got tail. Tang, spine, the edge, obviously, that's the pot that you shave with. And then you have, you know, your five eighths, six eighths is bigger, seven eighths. That's this width. This is the, you know, the measurement of the width of this razor. Uh, what other thing? This is considered the face of the razor. You know, see where it says, uh, Boca King, oh, it says King Cutter on this particular. That's, r the writing is on the face of the razor. Um, you know, scales, pivot pin, tail, some jimps. Again, I'm just repeating myself. 
Um, I hope that helps the gentleman that just asked, excuse me, that asked, um, again, be safe. Thank you for watching. <laughs>